Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. It's going down everybody, another great Metroidvania game has been confirmed for the Nintendo Switch. Fist, Forged and Shadow Torch will be heading to the Switch console this year. This game first released late last year on the PS5, PS4, Steam and the Epic Game Store and has received great reviews. So it's good to see that this game is also coming to the Switch console. Now let's take a look at the official statement regarding this game coming to the Nintendo Switch. Microids and Chinese company Billy Billy signed an international co-publishing deal over the retail versions of Fist, Forged and Shadow Torch. Physical versions on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch will be available quarter 3, 2022. Video game publisher Microids is thrilled to announce today the signing of an international co-publishing agreement regarding the retail versions of Fist, Forged and Shadow Torch. Originally released a few months back on PS5, PS4, Steam and Epic Game Store, Fist is a 3D Metroidvania action game set in a diesel punk world developed by Tide Games and published by Billy Billy. The retail versions on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch will be produced by Microids and be available quarter 3, 2022. So they all have it. This is great news, we get another great Metroidvania game coming to the Nintendo Switch. And like I said, this game has received some great reviews. Now you're looking at the gameplay trailer for Fist, Forged and Shadow Torch, and as you can see here, this game is really giving off some Metroid Dread vibes in a very good way. You play as an anamorphic rabbit with a robotic arm attached to your back to pummel your enemies, and whoever came up with this concept is a genius. I will be buying this day one. I'm not too sure how much this game will cost, but I'm assuming it'll be probably $39.99 or even $29.99 because it's been out for a while now. And if you all remember, I reported earlier this year that this game was leaked by the Taiwanese ratings board, so it's good to see that the leaks were true. With all that being said, that's going to do it for this video, and don't forget to like and share this video, and as always, remember to keep it locked here around the clock, we're here, we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.